So um, before we go any further with rigging, I always get into the habit of saving often. So let's do a um, save scene as. Let's call this uh, Frankie 3 so that uh, I can always go back um, if anything happens and crashes or something really gets destroyed. Um, then I can always roll back uh, to the latest version. Okay. Now, one thing that I haven't got is um, whenever I rotate the um, the foot, the toe always goes with it. So I want uh, extra toe control. So very similar to the, um, the foot control, create a NURBS circle, scale it up a little bit. And freeze transforms delete history. Let's call this rig underscore toe underscore left underscore CTRL. So what we're going to look at now is uh, just shaping that toe control. So uh, I've gone to uh, control verts and a quick way is select all. And again, you can move the, the actual curve itself without destroying the, the pivot point. Okay, so I'm just going to move it forward because it's the toe, and just going to sh kind of shape it a little bit. Um, this is where you can really get carried away with um, shaping uh, foot controls uh, and any rig controls if you want it to look a little bit like a, a toe. And select all again, maybe just. Back, okay, and then go into object object mode, and you can see it's not affected the pivot. Again, we're going to group it uh, because that's going to absorb the translate and rotate values. I'm going to name it the same as the control, but give it underscore grp at the end. Okay, snap it into position, and again we. If we remember the rotation values, it was 8.663. And as you can see, that's now nicely in position. Okay. So now that the pivot is, uh, because we've kept the pivot there, it's going to nicely uh, rotate the toe. Okay. Now one way is just a direct connection of the rotate Z to um, the rotate of this um, toe control. But I'll show you another way of doing it using IK handles, and this is something that, that sort of keeps that keeps things nice and neat as well. Okay. So I'm going to create a an IK handle. Make sure it's a single chain. Uh, I don't want any twist, it's just a single chain from the toe to the toe end. Okay. Um, so I'm going to call this rig underscore toe end underscore left underscore IK handle. And I'm, I'm going to parent this IK handle to the actual control itself. So numerous ways of doing it. Select the IK, select the control, press P, or select the IK handle from your outliner and drag it onto control. And you will see that um, the rotate nicely rotates the uh, uh, the foot. Okay. Um, okay. So um, if I move the leg, obviously it leaves the foot. Uh, the toe behind. If I move the foot, sorry, it leaves the toe behind. So we just want that last little detail of wiring in the toe. So what you can do is select the control and it's going to be the parent, uh, we're going to parent constrain the group of the toe to the foot control. Okay. You can do a, a straightforward parent as well if you want to, um, but let's just say I'm going to select the foot control, um, then select the group, and then constrain parent, 
maintain offset and apply. Okay, so there you have it. Um, you can rotate the foot and then rotate the toe. All right, so it's all set up. So what we'll do next um, in in the next video is now look at setting up the uh, the correct knee control.